All right, good morning, Professor Cloud. Uh, it's Brandon Cochran. Uh, I decided to do my presentation on the tapeworm diet. Um, it was a little bit more fun to research, in my opinion. Um, I feel like maybe it was a little bit different. Maybe not a lot of people have done it before. But uh, I found it very interesting, and hopefully you too. Uh, so first things first, it's undeniable that people will go through uh, extreme measures to shed a few extra pounds, uh, look good for the beach and stuff like that. And uh, the tapeworm diet is a very extreme method. It's also a very dangerous one. Uh, there are a lot of uh, health dangers associated with it that a lot of people don't really know about. Uh, thankfully, it is uh, illegal in the US now, but uh, it is still very easy to obtain because uh, there are a bunch of countries that do, uh, do provide this. Uh, so, Let's get into it. What is a tapeworm and what does it do? So a tapeworm is a flatworm parasite that survives by eating the food digested by its host. Uh, so uh, it lives inside of another organism and it will eat uh, the food that its host will eat, uh, stealing the nutrients. And uh, it can actually grow up to 50 feet which is unreal. All right, so the history of the diet. So it came around in the Victorian era, uh, mainly used by women, uh, trying to lose weight to uh, fit the, the figure of the time. Uh, it was a lot, very skinny, and they would do just about anything to appear to be as skinny as they needed to be. Uh, so it was, a, it was mainly used by women, uh, and it's still pretty popular today, uh, even though it is a lot harder to get, uh, there are still several ways to get it. How does it work? So first you take a pill that has the tapeworm inside of it and you'll take the pill and it'll grow up inside of you and it will eat uh, half of your food essentially. Like the idea behind it is you get half the food, the worm gets half the food, uh, allowing you to drop weight fast. Uh, then you take some medicine uh, after a set period of time and then you can pass it. Uh, this is advised against because uh, it is extremely dangerous. Uh, there's some, uh, some backlash towards it. Uh, you can have cysts in the liver, eyes, brain, or spinal cord. Um, intestinal blockage. Uh, if, it, if it grows too big, it can start blocking your intestines and uh, malnutrition. According to some scientists, uh, the tapeworm infestation can result in a loss of two to three pounds a week, which is why people love it. It's an easy way to drop weight fast. But uh, with the tapeworm growing inside of you, uh, it, it interferes with your digestion and absorption. So it, you could essentially be competing for nutrients with the tapeworm which uh, will cause uh, nutritional deficiencies. Uh, a little bit more about it. Uh, it is very uncomfortable. Uh, a lot of people who do it uh, have been said to take drugs that will decrease uh, the lifespan of the worm in order to get it out faster. Uh, it's banned in several different countries. The main country it is still offered in is Mexico. Uh, it'll cost uh, around $1,500, and that's not including like travel expenses uh, or anything you have to do to get to where you need to go. And uh, a few pros and cons. There are definitely a lot more cons, but uh, pros, weight loss is extremely likely. Uh, it does work, but, uh, and it also, uh, scientists also say that the tapeworm can help alleviate allergies. Uh, such as hay fever is one of them. Uh, so cons, of course, you have uh, all the different health hazards, uh, you know, cysts, uh, malnutrition, intestinal blockage, but uh, it, it is also said that it is not very well protected because of all the, uh, the health uh, backlash. Uh, it is not a very protected uh, treatment. And uh, it can cause like stuff like swollen stomach, so it could cause you to look, you know, it, it, you might be dropping weight, but you're not gonna look any bit more de de desirable. 
And uh, one more thing is there is a, also a rebound of weight gain after you pass it. So like you could you could have lost like four or five pounds over two or three weeks, but you can also gain that weight right back almost immediately. So uh, there are uh, a bunch of different you know, pros and cons. Uh, it is a very, very dangerous pr procedure. Uh, I would not recommend it to anybody. Uh, scientists strongly uh, advise you do not do this. Uh, but uh, essentially what it is, is you're swallowing a parasite in hopes that you'll drop seven, eight pounds at most, which uh, I don't see any, any uh, good in that. Uh, it is a very extreme uh, method. Uh, not healthy at all. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit about it. I had fun researching it. Thank you.